so if i talk about uh, this pollution and air quality so almost it has been now 10 to 14 days where the air quality has been very bad most of the time air quality index was above 400 and uh, so already for a week or so we have been seeing many cases in which problems of a cough, problems of breathing difficulty, more chest infections, these type of patients have been coming into us. Now since last night what I have seen is that in emergency some ex patients with exacerbations have turned up and uh, already if I see the OPD slots, my OPD slots are getting booked so I am expecting more and more patients coming to me with more and more pollution related problems now. Sir, what kind of problems they are going through with the respiratory illnesses and what else? See, as soon as you get exposed to this type of smog, this type of air quality, the immediate thing is your eyes, anything which is exposed to that will get uh, inflamed. So eyes, you will have watering of eyes, mm -hmm. itching in eyes, sneezing, runny nose, throat irritation, cough, and then when it reaches the lung, it causes breathing difficulty, chest congestion, and more and more mucus formation and later on this mucus turns into an infection and then you land up with pneumonia and other problems. So uh, as you said you know that people are, can, land, uh, can land up to the ICUs and all. Sir, uh, what about these gases which are uh, already in the air? How uh, you know dangerous these gases could be? See, apart from the useful gases, oxygen and all which we have to consume, when these gases which are harmful, which are sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, all of this add into the air. These are all irritant. Those who have asthma, their asthma can get worsened. Further, these changes, uh, these gases on long term exposure increases risk of changes in the lung. You land up with diseases like COPD. Risk of cancer, which we used to relate only to smoking previously. Now we see patients in young age who are exposed to this pollution, getting cancers, multiple other problems. Even risk of infections like tuberculosis increase due to the exposure to these harmful gases. Sir, so, uh, as you said, you know about the uh, harmful effects of these gases. Are you started getting the calls post Diwali? Yes, already. Since night only, I would say that we have been receiving calls for the patients and some of them have actually those who have been with us for follow up we have already advised them not to go out wear a mask whenever you are going out avoid going at times when the pollution level is as it is at its worst so steps are being taken despite that whatever you do even if you say indoors are clean no it's not going to happen the air from outside is going to come in and then you will have trouble so that's why we are going getting more and more patients due to this what are the preventive measures? What can be done? See, obviously the first thing is to minimize the exposure. And to that, we ourselves have to take into account that we don't call, add to this burden. And uh, though there was a cracker ban uh, from the government side in Delhi, I would say nobody was following it. So we are at ourselves at fault. We don't follow these guidelines. And then next is, once this has happened, at least wear a mask. Those who are on regular respiratory medicines should be taking them regularly without fail. Otherwise, their symptoms will just go haywire and then they will land up in hospitals. And take a good antioxidant rich diet, which is rich in fruits, vegetables, because these antioxidants can to certain extent minimize the harmful effect of these gases. Sir, what about the uh, old age people and children? See, children, oh, their lungs are still in developing age. For the old age people, their lungs are getting weaker day by day. So these are the two groups which are more vulnerable to this problem. Children, the age is which where their allergy levels are on the rise. So they are more prone to allergic reaction to this. Elderly people, due to constant exposure for long-term pollution, their lungs have already started to have damage. So these will have much more uh, complications as compared to a healthy individual. But each and every age group is vulnerable to this pollution. So everyone needs to take uh, precautions, but children and elderly should take much more precautions as compared to a healthy, uh, normal adult individual.